Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to The Sims 4. So today I thought we'd do a little bit of an old-fashioned kind of let's build style of video. Just a full-on building video uh, where we're going to be renovating this vet clinic which is from my Wags to Riches series, which if you haven't seen it yet, basically we're building and running vets throughout the world. And uh, we've earned all the money ourselves. Uh, I'm just going to fix that. So I thought today, let's just hang out. Let's do a little bit of building. Uh, so we need to, essentially what I need to do, we've got so much money, we need to make over the entire interior. Uh, we need to furnish each of the exam rooms, which I think what we should be able to do is build one of these and just clone them along. That's probably going to be our easiest option because those three are the same. This one's slightly different, so we'll have to do something different there. This, I think we decided was going to be... Uh, kind of like a staff room sort of thing. So maybe we'll do like a kitchenette in there. This is my personal room, which I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what we're doing. Make it into like some sort of cool lab type thing. Then upstairs is the apartment, which I don't know that I'll touch in this video. I don't even know how much we're going to get done in this video. Might be a, a two-parter or a three-parter or a ten-parter. Probably not ten. That's too many. Uh, anyway, let's get started. So let's start with this room. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all the things I've already bought. Uh, some of you that have been watching the series might be upset because... They were expensive items that I'm now just throwing away like yesterday's garbage. Uh, so we've got Roombas in each of the rooms. I'm going to take a little bit of a leaf out of my vet clinic uh, build video, which if you haven't seen that, that was pretty good. It's called Wags Vet Clinic, I believe. Uh, and we use these counters, and I think if we just turn them into... We can get the matching colors for these ones. Oh, no, actually it was these ones, sorry. We use these counters, and we get the matching colors for the little little poofs. And we're going to do, let's do different colors in each room. Let's start off with pink. Pink's a bit of fun. We've got a couple options. We could go that one or we could go the one with the white trim. I think probably just, we'll go, we'll go full pink. It'll look good. I want to move the Roomba for now. Let's move it over there. And we're going to get a counter running along here. And I think I actually, oh, I actually want to change it to this one. Not for the whole, oh, actually the whole thing is, yeah, the whole thing. Mm. Because the reason I want to do that is I want to have a computer in each room because I like that idea. We did that in our other one. And having the computer in each room was a nice little addition. I also want to have some interior windows, which, you know what, let's, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time, I'm doing too much here. Uh, let's, uh, I really wish these lined up better. All right, well, let's get rid of those then. Let's just use the, oops, use the island counters. These should be fine. We'll go like this. We'll get some cab cabinets up the top. We could either do that one or this one. Which one looks better? Let's find out. So that one or... So that's pink on the side, is it? And then this one is... I'm really confused. Is that supposed to be white? The lighting in here is weird. Oh yeah, okay, it is white. So it goes white on the side or pink on the side and gray on the top. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to have the... Uh, they're going to be side by side, so you wouldn't see them anyway. I guess we can go white on the sides. Sure, why not? Let's do it. So this will come all the way along. So we have plenty of storage in the room. Look at that. Fantastic. Look how, look how themed this room is now. All right, so this door, oh, that can that can stay the same, really. You don't need to change that. I think I might move this over a little bit. Maybe, what if I put it this way? And then we have the sort of counters behind it. Or maybe we, I mean, you know, we've got so much room. We don't need to cram it in anyway. Let's put it there. All right, so what we're going to want to have in here, we're going to have a sink because we're going to, you know, we want to be clean. We want it to be a nice environment so you can go here and wash your hands. Easy does it. Then I wanted to have uh, the computer in here as well. Look, we've got we've also got like unlimited money. I say unlimited money. We have we do have limited money, but trying to spend that kind of amount that money in the game is usually not that easy. Like we've got sixty five thousand here, but we also still have one hundred eighty four thousand in the in the household as well. I think we have enough. We'll probably be fine. Uh, so this is gonna have a chair, maybe like these. Oh wait, hang on. No, no, no. Sorry, we gotta we gotta use the bar. The bar seating. I think these ones are always fun. I like I like using these. Ones. Actually, you know what? I like using that one, and I don't mind unlocking it. So let's do it. BB dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. There we go. So we're gonna use this chair. But but there it is. That one there. White black. Let's go. I'll go white. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Looks nice and sterile. Uh, now I think there's um. The trolley thing, was it? Is it called a trolley? I swear there was something else. No, not the kids one. I just, it's really annoying when you type in a specific word and then you click, I, I want to search that word, but because it by default highlights that, it doesn't search it. Okay, so it's definitely not trolley. It's probably tray. Was it tray? No, it's something else. Okay, I don't know what it's called then. There's some decorative, like surgery tray thing that I don't know where it exists somewhere in this menu. 
that looks really good because we use it in the WAGS vet clinic. You guys told me to use it back then, and I was like, this is a good item. It does nothing, but it's good. I don't know where it is. Actually, it's probably, is it a cat? It's got to be a cats and dogs item, right? So why don't we just filter by packs? Oh, cats and dogs, and then go all decorative, because I think it's a- No, I probably don't need to go all decorative. It's probably a decorative item. We're gonna want most of those as well, all the sort of treats and everything. A statue? Maybe it's not a decorative item. Maybe it's in like... Activities and skills miscellaneous? Or... No, so we got the- I don't know where it is, or what it is. <laughs> Surfaces? Or... It's not a surface. Storage. So not a storage. Vet clinic item. Maybe it's just, yeah, here we go. Tabaret. Is that how you say that? Or should I say Taborette? <laughs> it's probably not that. There it is. Where, where, what category is this in besides vet clinic? It's got to be somewhere else. Let's see. So what was it called? Tail Waggers Tabaret. Tail and miscellaneous pets. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway, so the whole point of this was this is a pretty nice little item. Uh, there's extra extra things on it. Uh, that doesn't look like we have enough room if I put it there. So why don't I put it over this side? Because we've got a whole bunch of room on this wall anyway. So let's get this over here. We'll match it. We'll match it. Oh, I can even match that. <laughs> ah, no, let's just... I'll leave them gold. We've got, we got a lot of gold Roombas everywhere. So that's going to go there. Then I want to have like a little chair for the owner. Um, this room is so like... I wish you could zoom out in build mode, but it's like so blank. I think we, we need to change these walls. I like I like it because the idea was it's supposed to be like a renovated factory, uh, which is fine. But I think maybe we should... Uh, oh, you know what? We could leave the walls and just put some posters on it. I don't know. We'll, look, we'll see how we go. Let's get out a little chair. Because uh, I typically like a chair. You know, people, people like chairs. Uh, something comfortable that you'd want to sit down on. I, I, always, I always like these chairs, I think. Uh, then let's go... Brown... Oh, we go match the door. This chair doesn't have... See, I could do... The thing is, I would definitely do white, because it... Just goes with everything, but the problem being... The walls are also very white. I, I want... The thing is, we want it to... You want it to look inviting and, and nice. Like, you want to... You want to actually want to be... Not... You don't want to want to be here, but you want to be like... You know, comfy and not like in some... Weird surgery room because it's just it's just an exam room, you know. We don't need to be too crazy. Maybe these. Does this have it? No. See, it looks very angular, not like it'd be too inviting. Let's just do something like this. I think this is what we use in the other one too. Blue. See, the thing is, the problem with the pink color scheme is we really do have to just go with like a white chair because nothing else is going to go with it usually. Or hang on, let's put that in. You yeah, know, there. Look, there's there's potential here. I think. Look, maybe what we have to do... I mean, we can definitely change the walls. Um, we could even get the brick up over here, maybe. Maybe even just that bit there. But it doesn't... I like... The, the, I think the brick is acceptable on that wall, but I, I don't think it's really... Like, it's, it's got a cool aesthetic, but I don't, don't think it's appropriate for this vet clinic. I might actually get some tiles behind the, uh, the counter over there. I kind of like that. Uh, and then over this way, maybe what we do instead... Just get like a, we could just do like a nice wall. What's a, blue is a calming tone, but I guess the room is pink, so maybe it should be, I mean, it doesn't have to be pink, but it has to be like, at least go with it. Oh, can't, I can't go gray, surely. Gray always looks so good though. Maybe the, maybe the floor needs to change. I, don't, I, I love, I love concrete floors, but I think in this case we might actually have to change it. I love that floor too. That's so nice. I love that wood. So good. Uh, do we? I mean, it de definitely looks nicer. The orange doors are like really rough too. Like that's hard. That's hard to incorporate this. Why don't we just go for a darker wood door? Oh, that works. Hmm. What about this? I think it needs to be a little bit brighter in here. It seems a little dark now with all the dark colors. So we do that. Okay. That's not too bad, is it? And then what about, so we need some, I think we should have some curtains or blinds or something here. Something that could be, you know, used to cover up the windows. So that'd be fine, yeah. Imagine they just, you know, extend further down if you want, but they've sort of pulled them halfway up. Lovely. And then I do want to have an interior window as well. Uh, because... 
it'll look cool. And it will look cool. So gray, just to match, try and match the door frame somewhat. Although it doesn't. That's, that's white apparently. All right, well, it's not going to match no matter what I do. Let's just make it gray and just be like, yep, that's fine. Okay, so then what we want to do is make sure we have some window dressing on that as well. Because we... Go away. That's really buggy now. Whenever you open that up. Uh, can we get out... What was the other one? I used... I used this and then there was another one as well that I used. I think looked good too. Oh, oh that's too big. Also, I was going to say, oh, I don't want to use that because it's from that the pack that must not be named. Um... No, I think I think that's fine. Just like a little blind that you just a little roller blind. So you could easily you, obviously you could put it up if you wanted to, but you know, for privacy sake, it's down at the moment. Uh or I wouldn't mind actually having full sized windows, because that would be super nice. Like because this, this is obviously like a modern build, you know, like this has been renovated can like in recent years. Uh, and by recent years, I mean right now. But you know what I mean? Like, it's a it's a current current place. So why don't we do this? Oh, wait, are you kidding me? There's no... How is this... How does this door not match those windows? How does it not have a matching swatch to, to that? Wait, I think it is the same swatch. It's just an... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where is a wall I can put this on? Really? Oh, it does match. Okay. <laughs> so that is 100% the matching colors, but the lighting is all over the place. What is, what is happening? Okay, night time. Put the light back in. Why is this so different? It's the same. Hello? Lighting? Well, I'm sorry guys, look, it, it, it's the same, but the game does not want to let me make it the same. Uh, do I want to have a window there? No, I think we have two windows here like that. I like that. And then obviously I would like to have some sort of form of, you know, privacy if need be. Uh, so why don't we go... Yeah, let's just do a big curtain like that. Move this in a little bit, obviously. Might go black. I think we'll just leave it white. That's fine. Because the thing is, as well, if we, because because I'm going to be cloning these rooms, if I leave, if this whole area is like white and like standard colors, we can easily match it elsewhere. <gasps> I can use this jungle adventure plant. Ah, oh, yes. The plant that has my name on it. Well, it doesn't have my name on it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> my house referenced in the description. All right, let's put that there. I love it. I love this plant. I actually really love the colors of the pot too. I think, uh... I don't want to go too adventurous with the color again because uh, we got, you know, the rest of the room is colored as well. So we can't be too crazy. Now, do we have a small... I know I might be asking a lot. Do we have a small surface that could go in there? Oh, you know what we do? There's this one that I, always, I actually quite like using this one. It's even on wheels as well. Let me put that there. And then can I get like a little... There's got to be like a little, little something, 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 something that I could put there, right? Lovely. I might even actually put that against, uh, against the wall or there. I kind of like it there, so it's between the two. But then it looks weird with the plant on it, because we've got a plant right behind. You know, let's just leave a plant off it. We don't need a plant. All right, so that's going to go like that. I think that's pretty good. Then, let me move these out here, because uh, let's clone the room. I don't actually know. What am I doing? I'm not, nowhere near done with the room yet. <laughs> it's like, wait, what am I doing? I'm not, not even anywhere finished. We've got to do all the clutter stuff. And all the treats, because we need treats for all the dogs, you know, and the cats are coming in. We're gonna, we're gonna give them nice, nice little snacks. Uh, can I get more of them over here? Because there's a huge amount of space. Doesn't seem to want to fit very well over here, though. See, so, yeah, I really, hang on. Put it there. Yeah, that. Oh, hang on. If I get it in the right spot, yeah, there you go. Get them both over there, but that one sort of just moves slightly differently. Then we got, oh, we also got these on. Man, there's a lot. Oh, well, these actually, these are like surgical, not surgical, but like exam. Can, can I just put it flat against the wall? Are you kidding? Come on, mate. Don't be a turd. Hang on. Oh my god, wall! <laughs> Hang on. No, where'd you go? Stop trying to rotate at stupid angles. It's not funny. No one thinks it's funny, alright? There you go. 
Just want to put it, just want to put it against the wall. All right, that's going to go there. The, uh, oh, yeah, here's like these little little tray of stuff, which I, I'll put next to that. It seems to make sense to me. Uh, we're not going to have a huge thing of kibble in here. That seems weird. Uh, what else do we have in here? Got this saying, nope. So that's clutter. Statues, anything in here? Uh, no. Wall decorations, yes, is what we want some of these. So we'll get this over this way. I'm going to move that room bar because we'll use this as like the... I mean, I guess we could just put it over here, maybe. Uh, this can be like a little surgery station, maybe. maybe. Oh, you know, let's get this over here. Maybe we can uh, sort of put these together. Actually, I'll put that there and move this in. So this is kind of like one little unit. And there's a lot of different... Oh, we can go pink. Let's do that. All right, so we're going to go that. And we're going to go decorations again. Let's get out the other stuff. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that we can use. That's going to be quite uh, useful for us. I might move this... Over here... Where would be a good place for it? Because... Let's put one here. Let's go there. And get another one next to it. for Because the, there's one for the cat, obviously, as well. Just because I, I want to reserve that space for the... Uh, all the x-ray stuff. It's a little higher. We can bring that down. Put that there. Okay, cool. And then what else do we have? So we've got those. We've got... Those are our wall decorations. Okay, pictures. I think there's a bunch of posters and decals that we could use throughout. Uh, let's get... A little poster for adopting pet. Hey, you want to adopt a pet? You should do it. Because we got a poster. Anything else we can really fit in here? I mean... Not really. We could put stuff on this bit. Maybe we could do... Hang in there. That's a little sad. Let's not get that in here. Let's just do like a little vet clinic poster. Maybe that's their ad or something there. Uh, anything I could... Uh, should I put something up the top? Seems a little unnecessary. I mean, that's probably good for a little exam room. I think that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and clone that now. Now, I'm moving these things out because first of all, I don't... No. First of all, I don't want to lose them. And also, they're cheaper than buying new. So, if we clone this room... And then get rid of this. Keep this guy. Because I think... Yeah, that's cheaper anyway. Do that. Uh, and then we'll clone the room again. Cool, I kept the windows actually. That's really handy. Didn't have to get new ones. Alright, so then we're going to move these guys into the room. Uh, let me turn off quarter tile placement, I think. Because that was... Yeah, I was lined up at that spot. Okay. So that's going to go there. And then... So, right. The next room is going to be... I like blue... And then, I guess I could do the green. I don't know how good green's going to look. But right, let's see what we can do with blue. So blue is this one here. So hopefully it should just be a case of we only really need to change the cabinets and the other little thing on the other side. Uh, I probably want the blue with the white. Don't I? Which I think is supposed to be that one. That's, that's actually not matching anything. You know what? Let's just use the brown one. That's fine. Because they actually match properly. Uh, okay, that's going to be there. Then this one's going to change as well. And then this should go to blue. And then that should go to blue. This can be a cat, though. Lovely. And then that's pretty much all we have to do to change the theming of the room. Then I think we might change up the posters a little bit, too. So it's not completely identical. And maybe the placement of stuff around the room would be slightly different, too. Right. Do we have a... Do we even have, like, a green that goes with that? Uh, pooey green. We have that green... I mean, not really. Uh, not in the sense that the other ones match. I mean, this one here is probably the closest, which is not bad, actually. I don't mind it. Let's do it. Let's see what it looks like when we do the whole thing. These counters actually, these counters and cabinets actually have like so many different colors. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of like, does anyone really use these? I mean, I do right now quite clearly. Oh yeah, obviously we're gonna have to move uh, these posters because of those windows, but we'll, we'll adjust that in just a second. All right, so that's those three rooms. I'll remove these larger lights because we clearly don't need those. There we go. So we got the two small lights there and there. Did we... Oh, we did actually overlap windows. Okay. Yeah. So we have move objects on. Okay, fair enough. No, I want that one. I want the other one. We'll get rid of the other one. There we go. Get rid of those. Okay. Uh, oh, and we <laughs> still have the old doors in there too. Yeah, it's a, it's look, it's a little weird. Didn't even notice. Did now though, so we good. Uh, oh, also, yeah. also gonna have to adjust this door too. That's uh, also in the wrong spot. There it is. Okay, so get rid of that. That's fine. Uh, then this one's obviously gonna have to move to here. 
Get rid of that. Uh, I guess this one won't have windows, because it can't really. Because we don't really want windows into the surgery room. So we'll just have one uh, glass door. We'll move this here. Then we'll move these guys onto this wall. Seems pretty obvious. So I'll just go over here. The poster not lining up with those two things really annoys me, so... Might move that, just get rid of it. So this needs to move over a little bit. I might even just move these guys down this way a bit. Just adjust that slightly. Like that. Uh, I think these should probably have some form of <laughs> privacy as well. Let's just get two of these again. I think the blinds typically work quite well. Slightly not. Oh, that, no, that's really annoying. It's okay over there, but the, <laughs> the height difference there was disgusting. Um... We can just use these. Let's just use those. That's fine. Line that up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Get these over here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, actually, that's the other thing we want. Let's get bins in each of these rooms. Not that they're gonna use them, but... I mean, they might do, actually, but... I think it's just a good item to have. And probably every surgery room should probably have something like that. Let's get this out a little bit like this, and we'll put it... I was gonna put it next to that bit there, but I'll put it over here by the sink. This one I'm actually going to put next to the, um, computer, because I feel like they could be sitting there writing something and then just chuck it in the bin next to them. And also because we don't have a door in these ones over there, so that can actually go there. Right, this poster, I'm going to duplicate that, delete it, change my filters here and get a different one. So let's go for... Maybe this one has a nice, I don't know, nice little poster there. Oh, I still have to... I thought I got rid of that door. Well, they're not. Now I have. So we're good. We didn't double up on other stuff, did we? I mean, maybe. Who knows? All right, so we're gonna get that there. Uh, we'll keep those things kind of the same. Maybe this one over here we changed. Though, let's go for... we just go for the other one. That one there. I would like to do some things in the hallway as well. Probably be a good idea, so if we can get... Can we get this, like, larger poster? Get that in there. And then maybe we can just get some of these... ...diagrams of... Pets. How come there's only one on this? Where's the other one? That's a cat, but where's- oh, it's right there. Get the dog one there. Guess I might as well just move that down so it matches. Uh, we don't have a door here, which is new. Uh, <laughs> look at these paintings as well. Alright, so let's go... Well, let's use the same doors that we've been using. Let's use these. I like them. Oh, I'll get the matching windows, so we'll have like a nice glass sort of thing going on. Let's get rid of these. Let's just get rid of Max. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. What are you doing here? Move that over a little bit. Um, okay, so that's there. That's pretty nice. I like it. Do we have a... Uh, we don't have a single version of that, do we? But we do have... Um, just curtains like these, which would be fine. I'll just use these. Because I, I want this to also have the possibility of, you know, being a little bit closed off there from the, the rest of it. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Maybe we could do a pathway... Add a wood, like this. I don't know, what do you think? Because I like the idea of there still being concrete here. And then they've sort of overlaid maybe some wood in certain places just to make it a little nicer. I don't know, it's alright. I can go there. Uh, so that's going to be a staff room. So we've done those rooms. Let's move in. This is a staff room slash lab now, I guess, because we're going to have... I want to keep these things here, because there's actually a mod. I asked about this in the last episode. Um, if there was a way to get my staff members to craft continually. And there is. Uh, or at least for a longer period of the time. So we'll keep these in here. And then we're going to go build a little kitchenette kind of thing. Which, I mean, this can be slightly nicer and slightly different because... It is a, uh, it's a staff room, so it doesn't need a... Well, we can make it feel more like home, I guess, in a way. Uh, I guess we'll just get this wall, maybe. So it is, it is open to the level above, like all of this space here is. Because it's, it's a nice, just, factory environment. It's just quite lovely, to be honest. If I've got to be honest, I even I would want to live there. Ha ha ha. Now, I'd like to have a door that matches, but I don't really want to have a big glass door there. I mean, I guess, I guess you can. It just means anyone walking past can look in. I mean, I guess that's probably also a good thing, to be honest, because they shouldn't be slacking off. They can take a break, but they shouldn't be, like, doing anything nefarious in there that people shouldn't see. It's fine, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, I've, I convinced myself that it's fine. Um, all right, so let's go. Do I want to use jungle adventure counters? I kind of do. I like the dark wood of them. So we're going to have a kitchenette, uh, which is going to be using some... 
stuff from kitchens. I know it's pretty crazy, right? Uh, can we use this one? Does this have a matching kind of tone to it? Not really. All right, never mind. Let's just use a regular fridge. Or we could go ten, not $10,000, $14,000 fridge. Ooh, probably not. No, let's... um. Do I get that one? No, that's the one that you unlock. Let's not use that one. Let's just use cool kitchen fridge. It's the one I always use. I like it. Uh, I'm going to steal one of those sinks as well. So we're going to have that over here. We'll have a stove. I was, I was considering whether or not I want to have a stove just then, but I do. Let's get one in. Should we go for a nice... Let's go for like a kind of old schooly styled one. I like it. Uh, I would move the sink further away, but there's not really anywhere else to put it. Let's use um, these... Islands that match it. Now, actually, a lot of people mentioned they're like, because uh, on the video I did on the update the other day, they're like, did anybody else notice that the drawers are backwards? And there's like, like a lot of comments about that. But it's just the style of this particular one because, I mean, it's not the first time they've done that. There's this one where these are on that side. There is this one here where they're on that side as well. And there are, uh, what's the other one? Then this one here. There's a lot of them where it's the, they have like the cabinets opening on that side. I think the general idea there is. It's more of a, um, like a service counter. So like, for example, you'd have, rather than, you know, putting chairs there, which you can put chairs there, you'd have it facing this way. Uh, so maybe you have like a register or something on it. I, I don't know really the idea behind it. It annoys me too, because it means like a lot of these cabinets that I would want to use normally don't make a lot of sense in particular situations. But I mean, that's, it's not, they didn't do it by mistake. That's just the design of it. Uh, and I think, you know, actually, I think it could work in this case, because what I could do is have that there, and then have, like, a couch on the other side of it. Like, sitting back up against it. Which I will use... No, this, this isn't a jungle build. It doesn't need to be bloody jungle adventure couches everywhere. So use, like, a normal sofa, please. Maybe. I really, you know, I really wish there was a sofa that uh, looked like this. But a two-seater version. Because that would be... Beautiful, because this is the one that came in the pack. Uh, what was this, the bowling pack or something that it came in? I think this is a bowling pack. Yeah, bowling. And so the the couch that they gave with, gave us with that was the uh, that longer sort of just bench style couch, which is which is also nice. I also really like this one. It's a good one that I use from time to time. But I want one that looks like that because it's so nice. But it just doesn't exist, and it's kind of sad. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about if I put something there, it's like right in front of the door, so you'd have to like walk around annoyingly. But you know what? I'm not working here, so who cares? Let's get in just a couch that looks something along the lines of... Does this have like a semi-normal one? Let's do like a white couch, that's probably fine. Put that back, back against it. So that can go there. Then I want to do a... Oh, see, I want to do a microwave, but... Then it's going to take up all the space over there. Which I guess is fine, because we also have the counters there. You know what, it's fine. Uh, so we'll do like a, we'll do a nice expensive microwave, why not? We'll, we'll treat, we'll treat them. Uh, we probably should get some cabinets for this actually as well. Go across, and then we'll get a slightly smaller one. To go there, and then I'll also get those tiles from behind over there, because actually, I've re I really like these tiles, man. Everywhere I can use them, I do. <laughs> which you may have noticed. I love them. I actually extend it just a little bit there because I want to put in a bin. Ho oh, ho, that's right. I'm remembering a bin for the kitchen. Even though we already have a million bins on the lot, we don't really need more, but we do. Whoops, that's too far back. Um, now, the lighting in here, we definitely need more lights, but we've got to be careful because we only have this sort of bar up the top. Uh, we could get one here. Let's do a, a sort of designer light in a way. We could do something like this. So moving it up so it actually looks like it joins it. Uh, I should probably do the same for all of these. Yeah, none of these are moved up. <laughs> I, think, I think two is the uh, the go-ahead here. If we move them up two places, one, two, beautiful. And if you don't know how to do that, I have loads of building tutorials here on the channel that you can check out. So you should. Oh, hello. Move that there. Oh, hello. Move that there. And I think those are the only ones I need to move, because the rest of them are all elsewhere. Alright, so we get that light in there. I kind of like it. I mean, I guess I could have got the one that was hanging lower down, actually. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Maybe the other one's probably better. Or maybe that's a good height, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's get, let's get this one in and see which one looks better. 
Actually, that would be incredibly annoying because it's right in front of the cabinet. So, <laughs> no. We could either have that one, which I think pff, it looks kind of weird with just these light bulbs there. So maybe what we do, we either get rid of the light bulbs, which we very easily could do, um, and then have these lights, which I really like. I really want one of these lights in real life. In the right spot, it would look really good. So put those there. Yeah, two of those. You know what, we can even keep the light bulb there because it blends in and also that means the room is slightly lighter, but it doesn't look like there's two lights there. Cool, let's do it. Uh, right, this room is very brown and gray, so we need green in here. We definitely need green and you know exactly which plan I'm going to use? It's my new favorite one. This is actually my favorite plan. I'm so glad that- I'm so happy that they um, separated it out. It's such a good one. It's so good. All right, we need- you know, we do- we definitely need some- um, Oh my god, go away. Go. Yeah, we definitely need some more lighting down here. This is the perfect light because it's industrial and it suits the theme. Look at that. Uh, okay, over here maybe. It's still so dark in here though. Look at the golden. It's really dark still. Uh, so I think we need to do. Well, we need. You know what? We need more green over here as well. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep using that plant. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that, my rule is I'm not gonna use that plant more than one time in the same room. I'll use it more than one time on the same lot, just not the same room. So we'll get that there. With the bin forward a little bit, just so it lines up with that at least, I guess. Because that's quite nice. Get that there, and then maybe we can get some of these... ...behind here. We need more green. More green! Actually, where are those uh, other separated plants? Do they, uh, make them... ...able to... Oh, they didn't make them able to place on counters. Which is fine, because what I could do, let me just size it down, because I reckon it would look... ...really good on a counter. Is that too high? Oh god, that's actually the perfect height. Maybe that one's a little too big. I think this could be good if you scale it down a couple of times. Give it like a- yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times? Or is that too small, maybe? How's that- how's that height? That's good. Oh, the shadow is pretty big, so maybe a little larger. But we could just put it on the- on the side there. Oh, it looks really dark though when you place it. Alright, maybe not. Uh, let's just use one that's actually designed to be placed there, because that's going to be a lot easier. Uh, well, we can go... Uh... Why don't we go this one here? Somewhere. I might actually just place it manually. Come on. Stop, stop, stop trying to snap to it, because... Okay, hang on. I just want to put it there, roughly. Nice. Then, we're gonna get out a fruit bowl. Oh, let me get- let's get out this one. I never use this one because it's usually too big. But in a work environment, it could actually be really good. Put that- no, yeah, I'll put it on this one. And I have that behind it. That's good. Okay. I feel like there should be something there. Maybe like a mirror or something just so you can check yourself before you go back to work. Uh, could be good. Do that. Nice. Alright, that's there. Uh, that's over here, so maybe we should have like a little coffee table nearby. Surfaces. Coffee table. There should be a coffee table. Um, yeah, we'll do that. It's a little close. I might just move that a little further away. It's about there. And then, a TV. And now, the thing is this, I can- I can guarantee you that this is gonna be a nightmare for the employees working here. They're gonna- they're gonna be watching TV and not doing work. I can almost- I almost guarantee that's gonna happen, but... Look, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna put- you know what, I'm just gonna put it under this TV. It just looks a bit better in this case. I mean, it makes sense being, you know, right there, but... Uh... A rug, maybe? Of some descript? Hold very simple rugs. Is there one? This one is good. <laughs> is there one? That's my question. Is there one? End of question. There's the one that fits nicely between those two. I think that's probably the go-ahead. That color is way too much. <laughs> I, think that's a, I think that was a little too much. Maybe... I do like these ones. That sort of pattern. I think even a gray is probably a better choice just because it's a little bit more not in your face and, you know, blowing up your retina. Which is always nice. That's not suiting it at all. Uh, I saw a little something at the side here. I do like this, because that sort of goes with the kitchen counter, because then you have like a little thing to put your glasses on or whatever. Sure. Um, Alright, so that's there. I guess we don't need to put those so close together. I was doing that to save space, but you know what, let's, let's keep them spread out just because it'll make sure that they actually work. We get that around the back. I mean, I guess I should put, you know, let's just tile all that section there too. Then maybe... 
We can just have a little table over here. No, no, no. Go away thing that's there. We'll have a table. I need a different table. I need like maybe like a lot. Something to be a little bit different from everything else. Because we've got a very set theme at the moment going on. Alright, comfort. Some lovely dining chairs. Let's get these ones. That's alright. Maybe like this. Uh, now these, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. The, okay, these don't actually take up too much room. I think this should definitely go here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it should go here. Yeah, that's probably fine. Go there. Can we get a rug that goes underneath that that looks okay? Or does that not exist? I'm thinking on the spot. Can I make it... I can't make it a tiny bit bigger. Because I feel like the these circle rugs are just too small. It needs to be... It just needs to be a smidge bigger than the table. And then it'd be like ideal. What if I use this one? No, that's too small. Oh, that's too big. Okay. Uh, what if I use this one? Let's scale it down. See, that's a better size. What colors do we have? Very childlike rock. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I was hoping there might have been a gem hidden in there. Uh, nah, 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 maybe this. No, see, I want it to be a circle. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, what about over here? That needs something on it, right? That should have something. Maybe we need some motivational posters. That's what we need. Kip, hang in there, buddy. Go yeah, hang in there. That one there. And then remember we're a vet clinic. Never forget. <laughs> don't forget, you're here forever. <laughs> Little reference there is always a good one. Um, I want something there, but I don't know what. Well, anyway, I think that's looking miles better now. So we've got the new exam rooms over there. We've got the new uh, staff room just there. We should probably... Oh, wait. You know what? I've got a question. Because we we upgraded those two. Oh, no. Okay, they're, they're not upgraded. I was wondering. I was wondering if those... It bought, like, fully upgraded ones. No, but it didn't. All right, that's fine. So we'll put that there. This one has to go, I guess, just here instead. That's fine. Right, so I'm going to leave this here because there's obviously a lot more to do, but we used a lot of time already. I think uh, the next time we come back to this, whenever it might be, it's not going to be the next video, but uh, we'll come back and we'll continue working on it, on that exam room, the surgery room, the whatever that room is supposed to be, the bathroom and the lobby. And then that should be pretty good. And then at some point we've got to do the outside too. Uh, but I think this is a good opportunity to get me, not get me, uh, to ask you guys to leave comments, suggestions, and feedback for this. What you want to see next, if there's anything we should change that we've already done, things that we could add or make different or uh, make a little bit, anyway, whatever, you know, suggest stuff. Because uh, you let me know what you think about these exam rooms. Let me know what you think about... Uh, the staff room and etc etc and we'll be back at some other point and we will continue to uh, make it over but thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time and have an awesome day